mean it's out of the question that this object it's weird it's not just kind of odd it's mysterious it's anomalous and that doesn't change while it is leaving the closest point to earth but we can still observe it observe it on its way to jupiter and we're getting a lot of new data in that hopefully is giving us a little bit more of a clue what this is hi everyone i hope you're doing great i hope you had a nice christmas and i hope you're approaching the year end um, with a happy spirit and if not watch the videos join the community here and i hope everything gets better and yeah we need to speak about three atlas again guys and fundamentally this thing is different from what we usually see and we're getting the data in right now and it's interesting so three atlas Definitely, it's, a, it's an alien that came from outside our solar system. That's why I'm saying alien. And it flew past the sun this year. And most comets, usually, they make a fuzzy, glowing tail because the sunlight pushes tiny dust particles away from the object. But the thing is, guys, and if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know that. 3i Atlas doesn't fit that story. And guys, can you do me a favor can you give this video an early like and click the hype button and share it with your friends that supports my channel, doesn't cost you anything, and it only takes a second. Thank you so much for doing this. So right away, guys, I want you to look at this image. Um, it's a narrow jet of material pointing towards the sun. This is the famous anti-tail of 3i Atlas, right? It's not pointing away from the sun like it should when it was a normal comet. And Normal comets do that, 3i Atlas doesn't. So scientists ask the question, what's making that jet? And that's a question that we still have. Why does it stretch so far? It's a massive, massive and long anti-tail, tightly culminated. We've talked about this in my previous uh, videos. Check my playlist about 3i Atlas. I'll put it in the end screen of this video. Um, the answer that we're receiving so far is surprising everyone, guys. I'm breaking this down in a simple explanation because we have new data and new images and it's interesting, guys. The mystery remains. Comets normally, they shed. We know that. Tiny dust particles. Sunlight scatters off them like tiny specks of glitter. And that's how we see a normal tail of a comet. But with 3i Atlas, the particles that make up this sunward jet that's pointing towards the sun, they are much bigger than that. Way bigger. And here's why that matters. Because if we have small dust particles like those on regular comets, right? Those that we know, um, they get pushed away fast by the pressure of the sunlight, by the solar winds. And they can only go so far because the sunlight stops them. So if the particles are really small, they couldn't travel 400,000 kilometers towards the sun. But that's exactly what the anti-tail, what the jet of 3i Atlas does. So the only explanation for this is, it means that the particles must be way bigger than the typical dust that you see in comet tails. Like in plain language, these pieces are bigger than the dust that makes normal comets shine. And bigger particles, of course, they behave differently in sunlight. They don't get pushed as strongly, right? Because they have more weight. They can travel far without being blown away. So what does science say about that? Well, the scientists had a closer look at how fast must these particles be moving? How does sunlight slow them down? And how far can they travel or would they travel? So if the particles were tiny like normal comets, they couldn't reach 400,000 kilometers. They just couldn't. The physics doesn't work. That's why we said this anti-tail of 3i Atlas is breaking physics, comet physics. So to explain the jet, we needed to look for something else. Okay, the theory. The particles of 3i Atlas are bigger than the usual dust. But there comes 
a but with this that also kind of kicks this theory in the butt a little bit. But let's go step by step, guys. Okay, we say the particles are bigger than dust, but not too big, right? Because huge clumps, if, if they were too big, um, they wouldn't be dragged out by the gas that is coming off the object, right? The gas is taking these particles with it. So 3i Atlas is definitely shedding material in an unusual size range. And that is not expected if it was, were to be a normal comet. I mean, whatever the heck this is, right? I always say that. So why is this so important that we know this now? So if 3i Atlas behaved like familiar comets, tiny dust would dominate, sunlight would push it the way we understand it. It wouldn't break physics. And the glow around it would look normal, like a normal comet. But it doesn't. It just doesn't. The jet that is stretching towards the sun isn't explained by normal comet physics, so scientists concluded the particles must be larger than common sunlight scattering dust, and the jet is tightly focused. Culminate, we talked about this, right? That's why it was like hinting, is this an artificial jet? Why is it so tightly culminated? Why isn't be, it, is it being pushed wider by the solar winds that are pushing against it from the sun, right? And okay, but let's just say, okay, we assume they're larger. We know it's tightly focused. This hints at something that is very unusual or let's say that something very unusual is happening on the surface of the object, right? On the surface of 3i Atlas. And that is especially interesting, guys, because I just said it, the jet is strongly collimated. It's not wide. It's, it's, it's like, I don't want to say like a laser beam, but it's like a focused spray and not a broad mist. And that's gives us another hint, because that would suggest that it may be released from only a small active region on the body of 3i Atlas, on the surface, and not all over it. What could that mean, right? Because let's think we have a spaceship, right? That's what an artificial object would do. You have the jets in certain spots, right? That's why this has created so much mystery. So we try to find the explanation. This is just a natural comet. And by the way, there have been so many articles and rumors that Harvard professor Avi Loeb, who is the one who found all these anomalies, just said a few days ago, yeah, 3i Atlas is a normal comet, that he has somewhat changed his mind. Um, and he has released an article clarifying this. He said, no, I haven't said anything else. I've said from the beginning, I assume it's a normal comet, but here are all the anomalies. And he has given it a chance of 40% of being something else. And he stressed in his updated statement that th this has not changed. This is his view viewpoint. So, okay, let's talk about this jet. What, what does this mean? It doesn't automatically make 3i Atlas alien technology, of course, but it does show, and, and that is clear, that its behavior doesn't match what we expect from a typical comet. So instead of a fuzzy white dust tail that is dominated by tiny particles, we see this tightly collimated jet of obviously larger particles moving in a direction that normal comets don't go, we have to say. They don't go there on an object that came from another star system and has probably been traveling billions of years and has now a trajectory right towards Jupiter. So that is already scientifically fascinating and it really raises real questions. Why are the particles bigger? What mechanism ejects them that way? How is this possible? And why is the glow dominated by this unusual material? 
No one has an answer so far. So especially since 3 Eye Atlas is not a one-off visitor, it's the third interstellar object we've seen. What mechanism ejects them that way? Why is the glow dominated by this unusual material? Especially, th that is important because 3 Eye Atlas is not like a one-off visitor. It's the third interstellar object we have ever seen. And the thing is, guys, every time that we look closer, we find something new. And there was a new study that just came out, right? With that looked at actual images of 3 Eye Atlas, the physics of sunlight and particle motion. They did the math and the physical calculation and the mathematical relationships. And it showed that just common dusk physics cannot explain the observed anti-tail. In other words, this isn't just speculation. The numbers just do not add up unless the particles are bigger than typical comet dust. And that's what makes 3 i Atlas one of the most perplexing interstellar objects that we have ever studied. So the next time you hear about comets, remember this isn't just another dusty rock. This might be something very, very interesting, right? And it could be if it's just a normal whatever interstellar visitor, that it's forcing us to basically rethink what we thought we knew about the behavior of those objects. But obviously we don't. If it's natural, we need to rethink. And the problem is we don't get these interstellar objects so ever so often. But maybe if our technology is getting better, maybe we can catch more and then learn more about it, right? That's when the real discovery begins. So I hope you like this, guys. Leave it a like and a hype. Check out the Atlas playlist and check out what else is going on. A lot was going on um, around Christmas. Unfortunately, you don't want to have an earthquake around Christmas or a mud volcano exploding. Check out the videos here in the end screen and please subscribe. Go to my channel start page, go to videos, go to recent, then you see what's going on. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I see you in a second, hopefully, if you click here. Bye-bye.